beautiful, unbelievable French toast for you. And how we're gonna do it is with these babies right here. These strawberries, they are ripe, they are delicious, and they're in season. So we have ourselves a whole bunch of strawberries already chopped up. All right, we have four cups here. We're gonna chop up one more cup for you. Right now, we have our knife. We're just gonna chop the ends off like this and just half them like that. Then this is gonna go over to the stove top and we're gonna make it a strawberry compote. So let's go. We got a medium saucepan here. We're gonna turn the heat on to medium. And we're gonna go in with about four cups of our strawberries. We'll reserve a little bit here. Then we're gonna go in with two tablespoons of the lemon juice. Then for this recipe, we're gonna go only with a half a cup of regular white sugar, followed by a half a cup of maple syrup. And then we're gonna let this break down and it'll turn into a beautiful strawberry jam. Then we're gonna blend some of it up. So all this process here takes about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll see you back when it's almost ready. Let me tell you, these French toasts is gonna to be so incredible. I'm gonna plate them up so beautiful for you. Show you how to make a beautiful whipped butter with some sea salt. We're gonna elevate French toast and take it to a whole nother level here in the Super Bros kitchen. You're not gonna wanna miss it. You definitely wanna come in and give it a stir constantly. You wanna mix it up. You don't wanna just walk away from this or any compote for that matter. You always wanna give it a constant stir. Mixing the sugars is all gonna break down. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. But you don't wanna burn your sugars, so you wanna do this on medium low heat. Strawberry compote off the grill here. We just got it in our blender. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. amazing strawberry compo right here on Super Bros Cooking. You get this recipe www.superbroscooking.com. It's up all day, 24 seven, 365 days a year, working hard for you. Now what we're gonna do is we reserved a few of these guys here. What we're gonna do now is go in and they're halved and what we're gonna do is quarter them. These bigger ones here, Do it a couple times because we're going to take this and go back into the pot for a few seconds. This is all to build layers in our strawberry combo. Just want little cubes of strawberry like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. They can be imperfect chunks too. So anyways, there we go. We have ourselves some beautiful strawberries all cut up nicely here. We're going to use this later to just sprinkle in and amongst our French toast pieces. Okay, so now we have a half a cup of strawberry jam. We have a small bowl. <clears throat> and we have a kettle of hot water here. We're gonna go in with about two tablespoons. We'll just start with one, and we're just gonna mix it up. This is gonna be for our strawberry glaze that we're gonna dip our strawberries in to create a beautiful, shiny, lustrous look. Okay, we're gonna add just a little bit more. That's good. So now that we've finished the glaze, we'll just set this aside for later. Okay, we're gonna grab a large mixing bowl right here and a whisk. We're gonna crack in eight large eggs. Then we're gonna add two teaspoons of real vanilla extract. Then two cups of 2% or higher because of the fat content. We're gonna add two cups of milk into here, followed by one teaspoon of cinnamon. We're also going to add a quarter teaspoon, just a quarter teaspoon, cloves are very strong, of the ground cloves. There we go, no shells as you can see. We'll give this a little bit of a whisk. Then we'll go in with a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, followed by two cups of 2% milk.
Okay, once we've mixed this up a little bit, now we're gonna add in just a teaspoon of the vanilla extract. Quarter teaspoon of the cloves. Okay, here we are at the stand mixer and we are gonna make a whipped butter. But not just any whipped butter, we're gonna add just a bit of sea salt to it, just to elevate it just a little bit. Half a cup of butter, and we're gonna go in with about half a teaspoon of sea salt. Lower the paddle and turn it on. Let the machine do the work now. In just a few short seconds, we'll have some beautiful whipped butter. We're also going to do some uh, whipped cream, so we're going to need that paddle. Okay, we have a nice silicone here that we that I'm going to use, and we got our whipped butter. Try to fill them up as best you can, make them nice so there's not too much air in there. You want them to be full. Okay, these will go into the freezer. And they'll come out as soon as I need them. So now we're going to make a whipped cream. So we're going to go in with uh, one cup of our whipped cream. We're actually going to do the whole thing, which is two cups here. Just under two cups. As we're serving eight people, there's a lot of people here. So we're going to do it all. With two teaspoons of the powdered sugar. And we're going to start whipping that. And uh, two, three minutes until soft beaks form. Okay, now that we have soft peaks forming, see, right? We are going to now go in with one teaspoon of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of maple syrup. We're also gonna add a pinch, which is like half a teaspoon of sea salt and one more teaspoon of the powdered sugar. And we're gonna continue to whip until stiff peaks form. Okay, I just want to show you that I have my mint leaves that I picked from our tree outside. Went straight into an ice bath. And from here, I'm going to pluck them out and go right into some boiling water for 15 to 20 seconds. And from there, they're going to go right back into this ice bath and they'll be ready to decorate our French toast. We'll just use a slotted spoon here. Careful. Just 20, 30 seconds in the pot carefully. We don't want to bust them up. And then they're going to go right back into this cold water to stop the cooking process. And this will help soften up the leaves and make it a lot more enjoyable when we eat them. Also, it'll bring out a lot of the green vibrant colors. Okay, that's good. We'll turn off the heat. We're carefully going to pull these out and go right into the cold water. And then we'll be ready to go and make our French toast. We have our beautiful French loaf here. That's what you want here is dry and crusty pieces. It doesn't absorb a whole lot of the mixture when we dunk it in. Just enough to create a nice layer of our flavor. So I've already cut these to our inch diameter. I've used a two and a half inch cookie cutter. Cut some circles out of these. Just like this, just some circles. Like this. And we're going to toast these up in butter. We have our beautiful pomegranate powder right here that we're going to mix with our with our powdered sugar here. Okay, we're over here. We have hot pans. I have all of our grills here are hot. We are medium low because we don't want to do anything too fast here. But we have our mixture right here that we have mixed up. We're going to take our circles and we're going to dredge them in here. We're going to dredge both sides for just a second and then we're going to drip them out. I'm going to show you the process of one of them right now. So we just put it in and float and then flip it and then hold it up and let all the excess drip out. We got our just our nib of butter here. We're going to butter it up and we're going to go right in. Just like that. Some more in here. And when they get to this color, you want to flip. Just get lots of butter in the bottom of the pan. want to keep flipping and control your heat we don't want to burn we just want to get a nice brown like golden brown 
So we're just taking the mint leaves out of the water. We're gonna pat dry them on some paper towel. You wanna be careful here that we don't wreck our leaves. Okay, there we go, we have that. Keep your knife at an angle. And we're just gonna haul out the middles like this. So we have that done. What we wanna do now is we just wanna knob off the ends so they sit flat on our plate. So you take it off and now that sits, right? That's all we wanna do to everyone. Okay, so we have our piping here. So what we're gonna go is on top of our strawberries. We're gonna do beautiful little tops. Then we have our glaze here and our strawberries. We're just gonna dip it in. And we'll come in like this. Our French toast pieces. There we go. We got our beautiful little leaves here that we're gonna plant right in there just like that. Again, I lost my tweezers. <laughs> so we're just gonna make do with our fingers here. I'm doing my best. Some of these are really small. There we go. We have a beautiful little strawberry chunks here. We just want to line a few of them up in and amongst. Okay, we want a couple pieces right here. Like that. The ice cream balls. Beautiful little butter. We'll go with just a regular powdered sugar to start out. We have some pomegranate powder. We're just gonna go in with a little bit of that. Okay, now to finish this off and then we're gonna taste it for everybody. And believe you me, we're very excited. <laughs> Some of the beautiful sauce. Look at that strawberry compote. Gorgeous bite. I got a little bit of everything in here. Got a bit of that butter. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Oh, wow. As we uh, all revel in Chef Brock's final bite. Hey. We would all like to say it's been a very French slice and uh, we hope you enjoy this strawberry compote French toast here at the Super Bros Kitchen. It'll be up on the Super Bros website www.superbroscooking.com. Definitely want to come and check it out. Try this recipe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Hit that notification bell up top. If you like what you've seen, and I know we did, because we ate the whole thing and we're going to eat the rest of this here in a minute. 
you know, because we just keep getting bigger. <laughs> the more videos we make, the more we get bigger. We're growing here at the Super Bros Kitchen. <laughs> keep cooking and check out the next video coming on Thursday. Till then, stay super.